Pepe, a North American skunk with a bold white stripe and a friendly attitude. But keeping him as a pet, not the best idea, right? Well, keepers say we've got it all wrong. He's a lot easier than my dog, but that's okay. <laughs> Keeper Nancy Leong has been training Pepe since he was 10 weeks old. She says at first he was skittish, but now allows her to carry and harness him. You know, with any person that works with animals, to see how much he trusts you is just reward in itself. She says there are 11 different species of skunks, mostly found in North America. They're nocturnal eaters, surviving on plants, insects, and even small mammals. And if you take a look at Pepe's hands, his nails are extremely long, but that's because they use them to dig for insects in the ground. Keepers call it forging. They tend to dig about three inches into the ground. But it's the way these guys fend off attackers that people are most curious about, asking keepers if they spray their offensive odors just for fun. The answer? They're pretty much forced to spray, and that's pretty much with any animal that if you back them up into a corner, you'll get sprayed. The spray is a mix of strong liquids stored in two glands. And if you get up close and personal with Pepe, keepers say there's no need to worry. Those glands have been removed, which they say is common for skunks in captivity. Ashley Moser, KITV4 News. Actually, pretty cute. cute. Yeah. A little face. What they feel like, what their fur feels like. Those talons yeah. or whatever, those claws are pretty sharp. Sure. <laughs> All right, here in Hawaii, it is illegal to have a skunk as a pet, but the zookeepers say Pepe is serving as an ambassador for his species, giving Island Keiki an opportunity to learn more about mainland animals. Such a cutie.